All right, the area of a trapezoid um, is, uh, there's a formula for this, but I don't like teaching it that way because it's sometimes hard for when you're first learning this to remember that later on. Um, you can't definitely want to memorize it, but if you can't right away, it's okay because if you know how to find the area of a rectangle and the area of a triangle, you can do this problem. This particular trapezoid is an isosceles trapezoid because the 10 centimeters in both sides are congruent. And so what I would like you to do is pause the video and see if you can figure this out uh, without my help. And then I'll step you through what I would do and what I teach my kids the first time they see the area of a trapezoid. And then we'll talk about the formula. So first step here is to go ahead and find your split it up into rectangles and triangles. So we've got a rectangle in the middle so we'll find the area of this and then these two congruent triangles on the ends and we'll find the areas of these. And so we've got uh, uh, the length of 28 centimeters all the way along the, this one base here and 16 centimeters all along this base. So since these lengths on the edge have to be the same um, right here and right here you can just subtract the 28 minus the 16 and uh, come up with the fact that that's 12. Well 12 divided by 2 means this piece is 6 centimeters and this piece is 6 centimeters. So now it's just a matter of finding these heights. I'll switch to a different color here which will be the same and what's neat about this is we have a right triangle here and so we can use Pythagorean theorem to figure it out. You might also know that this is uh, one of the uh, uh, triangles that come out even. So six, eight, this is a 6, 8, 10 right triangle. Um, but we can go ahead and, uh, if you didn't know that, 6 squared plus h squared equals 10 squared. You know, this is 36 plus h squared equals 100. Subtract the 36 over and h squared equals 64. So we know h is equal to 8. And again that just proves that it's 8 uh, if you didn't know that already. So now it's just a matter of finding, and I'm going to get rid of some of these lines because it's kind of ridiculous to have to weed through all that. So we know this is 6 and this is the height is 8 so the area of this triangle or on both sides is 6 times 8 divided by 2 because that's the area of a triangle. Well 6 times 8 divided by 2, 48 divided by 2 or 24 you could have also cross reduced so each of these are 24 centimeters squared so this one's 24 and this one's 24 on this side so we've got the area of the two triangles. Now the area of the rectangle in the middle um, is 16 is the base of the rectangle and 8 is the height of the rectangle so it's 16 times 8 which is 128 centimeters squared. So to find the total area of this thing you can go ahead and add 24 plus 24 for the two triangles plus 128. Add that together and we get 176 centimeters squared. Okay. And again there's a formula for this thing but we did all that without the formula and, I, and that's what I encourage you to do when you forget what the formula is. But let's take a look at that problem again with the formula. The formula for any trapezoid, the area is you take base 1, which is represented with a B and a subscripted 1, plus base 2 divided by 2, and then take that all times the height. So it's the average of your bases times the, times the height. The bases are the links of the parallel sides. Um, this whole piece here is called the median of a trapezoid the middle length of the trapezoid. 
and it's actually the length if you were to connect the midpoints of the opposite sides. So from here all the way across to here if these were equal and these were equal. Didn't do a very good job of drawing that. But anyway, let's go ahead and plug it in. We should come up with the same thing. So my two bases are 16 and 28 and my height is 8. So in this case it would be 16 plus 28 divided by 2 times 8 and it should come out to 176. So 16 plus 28 is 44 divided by 2 and then we're going to take that times 8 so that's 22 because 44 divided by 2 is uh, obviously 22 times 8 and uh, running out of room here at the bottom and so 22 times 8 you know we'll do this by hand there's 16 8 times 2 16 176 centimeters squared is your unit so there's 176 little square centimeters covering that whole trapezoid so there's two there's the traditional way and kind of the non-traditional way for solving this so let's go ahead and uh, give you another one all right so this one's a traditional one that you might see on a college entrance exam and so I don't give you much information. I give you this angle in the bottom left at 60 degrees. I give you one of the bases as 18. And I give you um, one of the um, side lengths of 12 meters. And these are, we're going to stick to meters just so we have a label. And so we want to find the area of this trapezoid. So I encourage you, if you know just a little bit of trig, to go ahead and stop the video and uh, see if you can solve this thing. Alright, so again, in my non-traditional method, we're going to split this thing down to get the height. We've got to have that height anyway, even if we were to use the traditional method. And when you do that, we're just looking at this triangle, and we're going to find the length of this side and that height. And that will give us everything we need in this problem, because we already know that this piece is 18. So when we do this, we can go ahead and there's lots of ways we can figure this out. If you know special right triangles, you know that this side is half of the 12, which is 8, or not 8, good lord, it is 6, 12 divided by 2 is 6, and then the height is 6 root 3. Okay, If you didn't know that, you'd have to jump to trig and Sokotoa. Um, you could also use Pythagorean theorem if you uh, completed the triangle. But uh, if you're going to use trig and say you didn't know this bottom piece, you know this is this bottom piece here is adjacent. That's 12 is right here is uh, hypotenuse. So you could use cosine. So you could have also used cosine of 60 equals, we could call this x, x over 12, and calculated that. I'm not going to do that in this video because um, you really need to, for the purposes of uh, college entrance exams, get yourself familiar with, with uh, the 30, 60, 90 triangle rule. So now we can go ahead and calculate the area of these. And so the area of the triangle is going to be 6 times 6 root 3 divided by 2, because base times height divided by 2. And so we'd have 36 root 3 divided by 2, or 36 divided by 2 is 18 root 3. So that triangle is 18 root 3. The rectangle is 18 times 6 root 3 because base times height. And so 18, so that is 108 square root of 3 for the rectangle in the middle. And then we can add those together. So 108 root 3 plus 
18 root 3 is 100. You can add the 108 and the 18 since the radicals are the same. And uh, 108 plus 18, that's a 6. Carry the 1, that's 2. So well, that's 126 root 3. And that would be meters squared. So on the ACT, or not, I shouldn't say ACT, on a college entrance exam, that's the answer they're looking for. Now if you'd have used, back to where we were at, if you'd have used the cosine 60, um, we know that cosine 60 is 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 equals x over 12. You know, you cross multiply, you still end up with x equaling 6 for that bottom. And then maybe you use Pythagorean theorem or you use sine. Because if you did sine of 60 equals h over 12 would come up with the height as well. Because h here is opposite. Uh, you'd have came up with an approximation. And, you know, total, if you, if you did this with trig, you'd have this for an answer around 218 approximately um, when I I plug it in I get 218.2 meters squared so so the top one is the exact answer which your college entrance exams are looking for the bottom one is the, what I think of as kind of the useful answer in terms of uh, actually applying this we could buy paint and find out exactly how much paint to buy to paint this trapezoid if you had to paint that shape or cover it with carpet or whatever you needed to do. So I hope this helps and I'll see you next time.